Hey guys, this is another Tech Nitwit production videos and I'm going to go and show you guys how to set up uh, three monitors on this wonderful HP Pavilion gaming PC. I'm going to go through some of the basic connectors that you might have to buy or you might have to get for a computer like this. So it's not just for the HP video. You can go and watch this video and you'll learn a bunch of knowledge about different monitor connections and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to get into is a DP port. It's a little rectangle like this with a cut off side and that's, it's called the DP port. <clears throat> and it uh, goes down to an HDMI cable. Most stuff to nowadays is gonna convert from whatever it is down to an HDMI. So you also have DVI, uh, DVI-D, which is this guy with the line, and then you got DVI-D, which has got like a little X. So if I come here and look at these graphics cards, these are older graphics card, this is a 380, and this has a DVI-D and a DVI-I. <clears throat> DVI-I is below, DVI-D is above. And these will break down into either a 4K or a 1080p signal. They do have DVI-I connections that can do 4K at 120 frames per second. It's a dual link. I'm not going to get into it because there's so many different versions of this connector out there. I could make a I could make a, a hour long video about it, guys. I really could. So I just have these up here as examples. This is the old way they used to do it. The new way they do it is now they like to put just HDMI ports and and DVI or um, HDMI ports and DP ports on the back, display ports on the back. DVI is digital video in interface. That's this guy right here, HDMI and DP for display port. I forgot what HDMI is. I think it's some like high speed data, um, something, something. I mean, I, I'll have it down here below the exact name of it, guys. I'm sorry. I, you know, it's just not coming off the head of my, but they have adapters like this. This is a DVI to HDMI adapter. And that's what this guy looks like. And then we have the also, some video cards will come with a micro HDMI to HDMI. And that's what these two are. That's what this cable is. And then we also have micro HDMI, which I personally hate, but it's, you know, some of the smaller devices that they have out there. And then that goes to HDMI. So one thing you gotta be very aware of if you're running 4K or 1080p, is your version of your HDMI, HDMI cord. I will put up a post right here of a couple different versions and what resolution they go up to. Most HDMI cables today are gonna be 2.1 and above. So that means they're gonna do 4K, they're gonna do, they're gonna do all the whole gamut of your range. And then HDMI is gonna be, you know, the second most common. All right, guys, so Pretty much what we're going to do is I'm going to plug the DP port in here. This is a 1660 Ti that's in the back of our HP uh, Pavlon Gaming. Here's a DVI. Get this guy plugged into here. And then we'll get, this is just a normal HDMI cable right here. And we're going to plug this guy in. We're going to get all these guys plugged in. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes for you guys. And then of course, last but not least, we do need to plug in our USB cables. Don't want to forget those. Otherwise our keyboard and mouse are not going to work. And that's kind of important. So as you see, this monitor popped up, but these didn't. So one thing you gotta be aware of when you first buy a monitor is the power won't be on. You could have the computer totally booted and nothing's going on in the monitor. You have to initialize a monitor. A lot of monitors you'll have to initialize originally. Um, some will automatically pop up, some won't. So just a heads up, hit that power button on here. You know, so I'm gonna come here, just plug these guys in, hit the power button. That sh should be powering them on. And I'm gonna go ahead and power this guy on. Hi, oh, HDMI stands for High Definition multi Multimedia Interface, guys. That's what it was. I knew I was trying to think of it. I just couldn't come up with it. Hey guys, I'm back here. The desktop's loaded up. The first thing you're gonna go do is you're gonna wanna come here and right click on your desktop, hit display settings. And how this is in here is gonna be the orientation of how your mouse cursor actually moves across your screen. So if this monitor isn't attached up here, you can't move the cursor from up here to up there. So if I actually take this and drag this down and hit apply, and then I try going up with it, see how the cursor stuck on the screen It no longer allows me to go up there. But now I, because I put it to the side, I can actually bring it up here. So if you see now the cursor's up here. So that's one thing that's kind of confusing. You might not understand at first. This is spatially representationable of how you actually have your monitor set up in the room. So it's important to have that correctly. Um, the other thing, is where I'm gonna go over the monitors really quick. Usually the primary will always be your HDMI, which is gonna be this guy right here. Your secondary is gonna be your DP. Your tertiary is gonna be your DVI. It's usually from right to left here. So first port is DP, second port is HDMI. 
different makers will actually have them pop up differently. It, it all depends on the maker of the graphics card. It can be different from maker to maker, but usually the most common is HDMI, second is DP, and then DVI. But anyways, let me get into these settings quick because I don't want to make this video too long. You can do two things in here that are really nice. You can detect new monitors. If something's blacked out and it's not detecting, you can hit the detect button, and this will allow you to detect a monitor that's not been detected. The other thing you can do is identify. They don't always shape up like this. Sometimes they're all switched around, and your scale is pretty much how big your icons and lettering and text are. And if you hit 175, then I come up here and apply it, if it lets me. It's actually gonna make the bars and stuff bigger. But it's actually determined on what monitor I've selected. I got number two selected, so it just increased that size. So if I select number one, come here and hit 175, that made that a lot larger. So that's a 175 scale. <clears throat> with 1080p, usually you're gonna leave that on about 100%. The only time you're really gonna mess with that is when you get up to two and 4K monitor uh, resolutions. Uh, the next thing you're gonna see is display orientation. This is more for if you have monitor mounts and you take the monitor and actually go like that with it. I will change it really quick, but I'm not gonna hold on to the monitor while I change it. Give me a second here. So I'm gonna change monitor number two, which is this guy, and I'm gonna change this to a portrait, and that's gonna make it a portrait. And that'll allow you to stand that monitor up. Kind of like the stock brokers you see with a big monitor and they got the two monitors face like that. That's pretty much what portrait mode is. So I'm gonna allow it to revert. Um, the next two things that you have are, are other, out of your other settings are extend this desktop display, duplicate uh, uh, one and two, you got duplicate on two and three um, and disconnect this display. So if you're not using the display anymore, you can actually disconnect it and, it and it turns the display off. So that's really all the settings you are gonna have. And that is pretty much my video on setting up multiple monitors. Um, if you got any questions, likes, concerns, throw them down here in the comments section. This is Tech Knit when I'm out. Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.